so let, let's start tonight. If I were to ride Brian's bike through a puddle, what would we see after I've been through the puddle? Brian's bike? Maybe a wet, a wet tire track. Wet tire track. A track? Two. Two tracks? Depends on the alignment. <laughs> okay. So, two wet tires should each produce a track. Yes. Is it possible they could produce just one track? How? If the, all right. If the bike ran a perfectly straight line, there'd be a front wheel track and a back wheel track directly on top of each other. If the bike, if I wasn't a stable driver, what would I see after that puddle? See one squiggly line and one straightish line. Okay, see one squiggly line and another straightish line? More straight. Maybe more straight, all right, okay. You see two tracks, two wiggly tracks. All right, so here's the question of tonight. Imagine you came across this crime scene. The thief just stole, stole some bag of diamonds and went off on a bicycle. <laughs> um, Harry the thief had ridden through a puddle. All you can see are these tracks on the ground. And you want to know, did the thief ride that way? Or did the thief ride that way? Hello, now, it is true. So Arthur Cannon Doyle actually wrote about this in one of his books as a mystery. And in the novel, they analyze the tracks by tread marks and splash marks to figure out which way it went. Let go of all that. By the pure mathematical shape of the curves, could you tell which way the bicycle went? Where is the puddle? The puddle yeah. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> elsewhere. You can't There's the puddles on both sides. It's puddles dry. on both sides. It's dry. <laughs> now, we have a problem. What I drew on the board was complete random, me just drawing tracks at random. They're not true bicycle tracks. We actually have a bicycle. We actually have 700 feet of paper. <laughs> we have a box of chalk. Oh, wow. We're going to all trapes downstairs, <laughs> where there's a big corridor of hard tile. We're going to unroll this paper on that big corridor. We're going to have some people ruin Brian's bicycle. <laughs> by making the front wheel, just uh, back wheel, say, covered completely in blue chalk, just really thick it up with blue chalk. The front wheel with, I don't know, probably pink or something best. Pink chalk. And then we have some brave volunteer, is they're gonna ride that bicycle down on the paper, stay on the paper, don't go off it, but be wobbly. Be a wobbly rider down the paper, because straight paths aren't interesting. Can we tell which way the bicycle went on a straight path? Absolutely not. So these are the interesting ones. I want to then see what happens. I have a feeling the chalk marks are going to be faint, so a whole bunch of volunteers are going to go over the chalk marks <laughs> with markers. Okay? Are we up for traipsing downstairs to a long corridor? Excellent. Good answer. Let's do it. Can someone help carry paper and bicycles and chalk and whatever else we need? Now, everyone, pretend you're not seeing the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian's gonna now ride down this yeah. paper. And which, which way is it? We, we push him back on when he comes off. Yeah. Go, Brian! Yeah. He's gonna walk. He can do the calculation under ideal situations. Oh! 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 Can we make this very um, visible? Yeah, which is which? Which different color chalk? Blue, 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 and then the other one's red. This must be red right here. Yeah. Uh, this one? Wait. Uh, this one is red. Yeah, so this must be red right here. Brian, excellent job. Thank you. Yeah. Take it, John. Can we just put that on your back? Thank God he wasn't black and blue. Yeah. Okay. That's all joined up. And a bit more red over here. Yeah, I What's the pattern? 
water. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Wow, that's a good bubble there. Some serious bubble. Thanks for the stuff. How are we doing? It's looking gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Fish the red. Okay. So, what we'll do now is take this back up to the room and we're going to hang it up across the whiteboards and the windows and the bookcases and everything. We'll make the fire marshal very angry. <laughs> Alright, can we carry this back upstairs?